Sauce here. This is a video lesson on a power property, power of a power. For example, what is a power of a power? Well, we can start with a power x squared, or x to the 2. x is the base, 2 is the exponent of this power. Well, if I put parentheses around it, and then use another exponent by putting it up here outside the parentheses, then I have just taken the third power of what's inside the parentheses. And what's inside the parentheses is itself a power. So this is an example of a power being raised to another power. Well, how do I deal with this? I can simplify it. There's a long way to reason how to do this and justify it. And that is thinking of what x squared means. It means x times itself, only two times. The exponent is 2. So x times x is x squared. What are we doing when we raise x squared to the third power? We're multiplying x squared by itself three times. So if I have 1x squared here, I could put it in parentheses and multiply by another x squared and then multiply by another x squared. In this case, each x squared was shown as x times x. So what I've represented here is x squared times itself three times. That's the third power of x to the second power. Now I can see if I'm multiplying all of these, I can drop the parentheses and show this as x times x times x times x times x times x. And think of this as a single power. x times itself six times can be represented as the power x to the sixth. x to the sixth is simplified. There's another way to do this using a power property. A fast way to get the result by observing that whenever you have a power with base b raised to any exponent m, and then you raise that to a second exponent m, you can simplify this into a power with the same base b by raising it to the exponent n times m. This is a property that will always work as long as you follow the pattern precisely. So here we have a power base x raised to the second and then raised to the third. We could think of this as a power base x and multiply the two exponents 2 and 3. And 2 times 3 is 6. So x to the 2 times 3 is the same thing as x to the 6th. It's the fast way to do it, using the property. Let's give another example. If I had 4 y to the 3rd, and I put parentheses around it, because then I'm going to raise it to a second power, 2. How do I simplify well, first of all, I've got a 4 out front, and the 4 is not a part of the power. So this 2, this square, is also going to square the 4. So I am squaring 4 and the power of y to the third. So the square of 4 can be shown as 4 squared. And then I'm going to multiply by the square of y to the third, which using the property is y to the 3 
times 2. You can take a further step. 4 squared is 16, and y to the 3 times 2 is the same thing as y to the 6th. Another example. x squared z cubed all to the fourth. So in this case, I have two powers that are multiplying, but they have different bases. So I can't combine x squared and z to the third using another power property. Different bases won't combine. But I am taking the fourth power of all of this. So that's the fourth power of x squared. And I'm going to multiply by the fourth power of z cubed. With the power property, I know if I'm going to take the fourth power of x squared, that's the same thing as the base x, and the new exponent is 2 times 4. The product of the exponent of, the exponent of x and the second exponent 4. z to the third is going to be same base z, and the exponent of z will be the product or what we get when we multiply the power of z and the second exponent 4. The next step, x to the 2 times 4 is 8, and z to the 3 times 4 is 12. 